is the Zuzi Z70 Robot Vacuum Cleaner and Mop. This robot vacuum is the first of its kind that is compatible with 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. This means that it has better communication to your smartphone and even faster response to your commands. No need to switch between your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi just to set it up initially. Due to its larger battery, it can clean up to 3200 square feet of space and work for up to 240 minutes thanks to its high quality 5200 mAh LG batteries. Suction power is phenomenal with 3500 pascal pressure, it can easily remove hair, stains, and dust on your floor. The Zuzi Z70 uses an intelligent LiDAR navigation and 28 sensors that scans your house up to 26 feet in radius. It optimizes its coverage that helps it to clean thoroughly. With the new Zuzi app, the functions has been improved over time. It has multiple features such as clean mode, set a virtual wall, no-go zone, spot cleaning, v-wall, smart partition, and many more. The Zuzi 70 comes with a power adapter, 2-in-1 water tank, a dustbin, a main brush, cleaning brush, two pairs of side brush, two washable HEPA filters, two mops, a mop plate, a mop, and the user manual. All right guys, so let's go ahead and set up our Zuzi Z70 Robo Vacuum. Okay guys, so initially you wanna make sure that you have this paperwork in front of you, because this is all you need to set this thing up. All right, now, since I've already installed the trash bin, which is basically inside over here, so you can see, just go ahead and install it. And it's the same as for the mopping bin, which is this one. So just fill this up with water. All right, and for this mop module here, all we need to do is fill this with water, the water reservoir. You don't really need that much water here. And install it over here in the same orientation. Just drop it down over here. Make sure you hear the click and you are good to go. Make sure this one is sealed. All right, but since I have carpeted flooring and tiles as well and as you can see I've already tested it out a while ago but anyway this is how you install this just wrap it down like this and there you go you can also see the the brush or the cleaner over here which is really really handy so that way you can easily access this to clean up your robo vacuum and then the next thing you want to do is install the side brushes so it doesn't say left or right so you can install it however you want so let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to flip this over go to put this this way and this way all right very easy guys and we're going to turn it on to so push the power button for about three seconds there you go now all right so starting up there you go you will hear that confirmation and as you can see the lidar is moving already or spinning already so it's scanning the perimeter now we're going to search for the zuzi app so to do that go to app store or if you're using android you want to go to play store all right and then do a search and type in here zuzi all right pick the first one in the search result and you want to install this one choose get Double click to install. All right, and then open. All right, so we're going to allow the notifications for the meantime and then log in. If you don't have a Zuzi account yet, go ahead and sign up. So that's what I'm gonna do. So enter your email address and password and then confirm your password or your new password. And then make sure you agree to the terms and service and then tap on sign up. I'm gonna set up mine right now. Okay, so it's asking me to verify the email address. So I'm going to go to my inbox and then verify the account so I can officially have a Zuzi account. All right, and it's going to ask for a code. So you wanna get that code from your email address. 
So the name of the email starts with the word SLAMTAC. All right, and I got the code over here. So I'm going to copy it. All right, and then I'm going to paste this on the app. So I'm going to type in the code over here or paste in the code, and then I'm gonna click on OK. All right, so at the bottom, we're going to choose add new device. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. In my case, my Bluetooth is always on, so I don't have to worry about that. And I'm gonna press on OK. All right, it says here, please press and hold the power button and the home button at the same time until you hear a voice. So we're going to go ahead and do that over here. Wi-Fi is reset. Waiting for connection. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna choose next over here on my cell phone. I'm going to hit next on this notification. All right, I'm gonna choose my device and connect it to my wireless network. So I'm gonna choose the same wireless network I use on my cell phone. All right, so I'm gonna type in my password. Right now, my phone is binding with this device or the RoboVac. So it will take a few minutes, guys. Wi-Fi is connected. All right, so we just got a prompt that the RoboVac has been connected to my wireless network. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna tap on back. That's the actual interface, guys. So what you want to do is tap on the icon over here of the vacuum. And as you noticed a while ago, there was an update. And I'm going to go to the settings first and select firmware update over here. So make sure you install any updates that are showing on your screen to ensure that your RoboVac is performing at the optimum level. We're going to choose update. It says here it will take about five minutes to upgrade the firmware. So just to give you a heads up, guys. All right, so the firmware update has been completed. So we're going to press an OK here on our screen. Let's go ahead and test this out. By the way, guys, if you want to change the name of your Robo Vacuum, you want to go to this icon over here. It looks like a pencil and you can change the name here. Then press OK. And if you want to check out the settings, all you need to do is tap on the Zuzi icon over here at the top left corner. You can upload a picture here if you want to change the picture or the profile picture. And you can also change the area unit. It's like what I did a while ago. I chose square feet. It defaults into square meter. So you want to change that if you're in the US. All right, so there you go. It says area, square feet, the time and the battery. It's 100%. All we need to do now is test this robo vacuum up all right guys so for initial run you can tap on the clean button and it will automatically do whatever it needs to do to clean the area that you wanted if you wanted to get the vacuum to recharge or to summon the vacuum to go back to the charging station which is over here by the way it's over here and you want to also prep your area so meaning you have to get rid of those that could obstruct the vacuum from doing its job and cleaning for example i have the basket over here and also a dog bone so we want to get rid of that any objects that could block or potentially damage your vacuum cleaner and let's go ahead and test this out and you will notice it's not gonna cross this tiled section in our home as well as on this side over here it's not gonna go there and i will show you guys Alright guys, so as you can see the Zuzi Z70 just finished up cleaning our living room So I am very satisfied with this product I really have nothing negative to say because this vacuum is really really smart and it has a LiDAR And compared to its competitors, it's really really cheap And if you check out the link below and check out the actual listing on Amazon, it is actually on sale It may not last long So if you are interested in getting one of these go ahead and click on the link on the description description below and also by the way guys the only cons that I notice here is that the surface of this vacuum is so glossy it's like a magnet to fingerprints and all that stuff and also regarding the app as you would notice the additional features you can barely see it because it's translucent so basically uh, it's really hard to read even the icons you can barely see it because it's translucent so I wish that the developers would update that and change that to solid colors anyway 
I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do leave me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.